Okay, so locally in our fire station, we have some materials we need to be aware of. Uh, Captain Nick, Nick Hutchins is in charge of um, making sure all, all containers are labeled with the proper identifiers, signal words, hazard statements, pictograms, precautionary statements, and also the contact information of the manufacturer. He's also, Captain Hutchins is also in charge of each work site where these chemicals may be used and that uh, proper PPE are being utilized. Uh, if at any time there is not an SDS sheet immediately available for a new chemical or you do not have an SDS sheet for a chemical that is being in, used at that time, immediately contact Galen Morrison and he will update that information. Um, as far as new employees and training and information, everybody will be required to watch this video and go through these instructions. Some of the chemicals that we have in-house that you need to be aware of, we have basic cleaning chemicals in the basement cabinet. That's uh, our storage area. In the bathroom, there's bathroom cleaners, window cleaners, Clorox wipes. In the bay, there's a PDI sandy cloth. It's a uh, wipe that we use in, in the stretchers and the uh, ambulance surfaces, the hard surfaces. Uh, need to be particularly aware of that one. Always read the, the safety information anyways, but that one you have to have gloves on and eye protection. <clears throat> Under painting supplies, we have spray paints. You will need to w w use uh, hand protection for the spray paints as well as eye protection and proper ventilation. That's pretty much everything we have in-house that's um, dangerous. However, we do have SDS sheets on every product we have. And any time we purchase a new product, you must get an SDS sheet or let Galen know that we need to get one. That concludes our HAZCOM.